Hello, my name is Eamon Collins and this is Beginner's Guide to GPG Lesson 2 Passwords. Password Strength. Passwords are the main tool for securing a computer system. The stronger your password, the less likely you are to get hacked. In this module we will look at random character and random word passwords and the different approaches you can take to generating strong passwords to secure your Linux installation as, uh, as well as your GPG. Password strength is really, really important. If you don't have strong passwords, GPG won't be effective. So pay attention to this one if you're not aware of password strength. Humans are generally terrible at making strong passwords. Anything you can imagine will be guessed by a machine in a trivial amount of time. This is why we need to you know, use programs to randomly generate characters or words that we use to create passwords. Okay. Random characters. A random character password is made up of randomly generated characters. It must have the following characteristics to be considered secure. It can have no less than 14 characters. It cannot contain your username, real name, organization name, family member's name, or name of your pets or your cars or anything. Uh, shouldn't contain your date of birth. Shouldn't contain any complete dictionary words. It should be significantly different from your previous passwords. It should contain three of the following character types. It should have lowercase alphabeticals, three of them, uppercase three three numerics, as well as three special characters. Here are some examples of passwords that would qualify. So you can see the recommended number of characters is 16. Really shouldn't go under 14. After 20, uh, the password becomes so strong that uh, there's really no point going over 20. Also, when you go over 20, it affects your usability a lot. Moving along. Generating random character passwords. The first software method we use is a program called PWGen. PWGen is an excellent password generator. To install it on Debian, Ubuntu, or Linux Mint and use it, go sudo apt-get install PWGen. That basically means as super user or with elevated privileges, use apt-get to install that program, pwgen, then to run it we go pwgen-sy uh, into the terminal. Basically the dash sy flags, s means secure, so really random, honestly hard to remember. Uh, y means use special symbols as well. Um, the output will look kind of like this. As we can see this is a giant block of characters. How do you get a password from this? Basically you decide, well I want I want 16 characters, I just want the recommended amount. Um, so I'm going to choose two groups of eight that are here, and then I'll just, you know, write them down on paper, or put them in my password manager, and that'll be my password. Easy peasy. The second software method we have is a Python script I created called passwordstrength.py. You could really create your own Python script to create passwords. It's not that hard. Uh, gener mine generates a password, but it also shows you how long it would take to guess that password. Uh, to run it, you would open a terminal window and you would just type Python and then the name of the script. Let's actually go do that. I can show you what the heck I mean. There will be a link to the script in the bottom. So you can download it and use it as much as you want, play with it, study it. So I type that command, python password strength.py, then it enters the program. I say I want an ASCII password, I say I want it to be automatic, and I want to click it 20 times. And then I can just watch it tick over. And you'll see as we get above 10 characters, the strength becomes much greater. As we go over 15 characters, it's absolutely unguessable. It's just too complex. And then it spits out some random ASCII for you. There's also words. I'll show you that really quickly. Basically, it does the exact thing, but with uh, randomly selected words. This is the other kind of password we're going to talk about. 
And it spits out a bunch of random words for you. Okay, moving back to the lecture. Okay, if you don't have a software method, if you don't have a Linux computer already, um, you can use a manual method. And although be aware that with a live boot disk like from Ubuntu or Mint, you can actually use PWGen from that live disk before you install, which is really convenient. Um, if you don't, if you can't do that, uh, you can still generate it manually. But you need a D10 dice, ten-sided dice kind of a rare object. Uh, if you have two six-sided dice that will not work at all. Don't use two six-sided dice, it's very bad because it will be statistically weighted towards seven. And that would not be even Steven, so it wouldn't be truly random would it? No, it wouldn't. Um, anyway, to do it like this we get a table like the one below. This is also fe featured in the lecture notes. You then roll two d d10 dice, select the row and column from them. If that's actually a digit in this square you basically write it down. Then you repeat that step until you have as many characters as you need. Then you check finally that it conforms to the rules we mentioned previously. Um, yeah, the table I've included in the lecture notes is from, is using the English US keyboard. You might have a different keyboard for a different region, so you might have to make your own table like this. You would also have to make sure you don't change keyboards, um, otherwise you might not be able to type your password in again. Oh, that would be good. Moving along. Random words. Random characters, they're not the only kind of password you can create. Random word passwords are secure as well, but they're easy to remember. To have a secure random word password, it can have no less than five words. It shouldn't contain your username, real name, family member's name, cat's name, car's name, anything. It should not contain your month of birth should not contain duplicates of any word. Here are some examples. If you typed any of these in half a dozen times, you'd remember them. Guaranteed. Generating random word passwords. The first method was that script I showed you. You could, you could make your own script if you want. You basically just have to get the dictionary list from the system and then just randomly select from it. Uh, the second method. The second method is a manual method. Uh, if you don't have a computer and you want to make a random word password, uh, dice method. You get a regular six-sided dice and you roll it five times and that would have 7,776 possible combinations which we translate into words. First step for doing this is to download the diceware word list, either of those links. Then to roll a six-sided dice five times, there's an example of output. Then you look up the corresponding word in the word list. And then you repeat that until you have the desired amount of words. Fun, right? Strengthening random word passwords. You might want to make your random word password a tiny bit stronger. Uh, to do this you can add at least, you can add more if you want, uh, one capital letter one number and one special character. So we can see an example of a password I've changed here. I've added a capital letter to it and a number and a dash. I've replaced the space with a dash. That uh, that makes it significantly harder to guess. Password security. Just having a secure password, it's, it's great, but it's not really enough. You have to do more. Uh, you also have to make sure that you Never use the same password multiple times. Every time you need a new password, you're going to want to generate it again. Do not use your password when people or cameras are looking at you. Uh, if you're like in an airport or a McDonald's, you probably have cameras on you. That means you plugging in that password might be recorded on some video database somewhere and it might be ignored and deleted, but it might not. You never know. Um, do not use online password generators. They might be insecure. Any website that tries to generate a password for you, avoid it. Use use local methods. Um, 
number four only enter your passwords in a machine that's machines that you trust and you know are secure so if you have a gaming machine that you torrent random stuff onto and it's probably got viruses and it's got windows on it uh you know don't plug your password your gpg passwords into that one uh, make sure you have a secure linux installed so you can do that Another point, uh, writing your passwords down on paper and storing them somewhere private. People say, oh, what if somebody steals my passwords? Well, you could, if you're really worried about that, you could just have a safe, which you keep that in. But, uh, you know me, I just keep it in the drawer. I didn't really think anyone's going to come to my house and rob me from my passwords, personally. At least it hasn't happened yet. Uh, always be certain you're typing your password into the correct place don't type it into the wrong program don't type it into the terminal line when you know like it's a command I did that once uh, it was embarrassing it was scary uh, if you want to use a password manager make sure it's open source there's a lot of password managers out there that are proprietary or they're online they try to do like cloud um, password managers it's just it's also incredibly insecure unless it's GPL unless it's open source you really have no way to know that they're not just stealing your passwords so yeah use use good password managers if you are going to use them and finally if your password is compromised change it ASAP remember when I told you that I typed my password into the command line uh, after that you basically have to change that password straight away otherwise there's a security risk if your GPG phrase gets lost you'll need to make a new keypad but that's for a later lesson activity 2 the only activity of this lesson you need to generate passwords because the next lesson we're going to install Linux and you're going to install Linux and you're going to need some passwords for that if you're going to use Ubuntu or Linux Mint, you'll need two unique strong passwords. If you're going to use Debian or another one of those popular distros, you'll need three unique strong passwords. Other links. There they are, some other guides on creating strong passwords. And yeah, that's it. Um, next lesson will be installing Linux.